Hey guys, Gina here, back with another collection video. You guys, I did not think I was going to get to make this video this year, but with an estate sale, a couple of amazing eBay finds, and even a yard sale, I have enough vintage Halloween noisemakers to make this video. I love looking at Pinterest at other people's collections. And I've told you guys this before, people will have cabinets and display cases full of vintage Halloween. And one thing that always catches my eyes are these vintage metal old school noise makers. They just look like so much fun and how awesome to be a part of that era where that would be something that you would carry around with you while you were trick-or-treating, you know? Give someone a startle or a scare with your noisemaker. Oh my gosh, how much fun. There's all kinds of varieties of noisemakers. There's metal ones, there's plastic ones, there's blow mold ones, um, there's rattles, there's ratchets, there's horns, there's tambourines. There's a couple of manufacturers and I tried to do a little bit of research online before I made this video, but there's actually not that much stuff on there and maybe I just didn't give it enough time. But I was trying to look and see and I think the earliest metal noisemakers were made starting around the 1920s. Now, there are some earlier German made ones and those ones were mostly made out of wood and more like a twirling ratchet style. Um, but they have rattles and shakers and all kinds of stuff, but they went from about the 1920s to about the 1950s. And then as soon as plastic started being introduced as a more popular thing, they kind of went away, unfortunately. But I have a little bit of a collection started, so I think you guys will enjoy seeing some of these patterns, these colors, these amazing noisemakers. I'm gonna start off with my first out in the wild find. Last year, I got to go to an estate sale all by myself. They kind of advertised it and I was so excited because I saw a ton of Halloween, a ton of Christmas. They had Easter, Valentine's Day, Patrick's Day. They had every holiday covered and it was just table upon table of holiday decorations. And I was the first person to go in there. So I got to pick all of the best things and I looked like the Grinch who stole Christmas. <laughs> when I got out of there, my car was loaded and I was so happy driving all the way back. But in the very last box before I left, I kind of second guessed myself saying, did I look in that box? Didn't think I did, but I found a ton of awesome, amazing die cuts and I found two of these wonderful metal noisemakers. Now this one is awesome because this one covers all the bases. It's got skulls, bats, owls, cats, pumpkins, witches. It's all on here and it's got green, which is amazing. The handle is made of plastic and then this part is made of metal and then the little <laughs> Attachment inside is made of metal too, but this is awesome. Now it looks like it does have a sticker, but it's almost gone. So who knows how much they paid, but it looks like it was cents. I'm gonna guess it was probably 25 cents, maybe even less. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? So awesome, but I found two of those in there. Then last year, I came across an eBay find for a collection of little noisemakers at a fairly decent price, so I snagged that right away. And a couple of these clickers came. Now these clickers were made by the Tea Cone Incorporation, and they're made in the USA, but they're fun and loud. <laughs> but what's cool about these is if you can see, it's actually the shape of a frog. So they have the same mold, and then what they do is they just paint it different for different things. And this one has a witch and a haunted house and some bats and stars. And in that lot also came this one. And this one has a black cat, owls, a bat, a moon. And again, it's that same frog shape. And then they also came with this little clicker. And this is a teeny tiny one compared to this one. Much smaller, but still loud. <laughs> so this is a witch. And then there's also this witch flying over the moon with the pumpkins. So I got a little clicker bundle there and I think I paid a pretty good price for it. 
you guys can come across on the internet, wherever you're looking, Macari or eBay, offer up marketplace. If you guys find noisemakers for $20 or less, or if they do a bundle and you can get each noisemaker in that bundle for $20 or less, you've got yourself a good deal. A lot of noisemakers are going for 30 plus right now. And then you also have to pay shipping. So if you can find any for $20 or less, it's a good deal. You don't have to ask anyone, <laughs> just go for it. Also in that same bundle came this guy. And this is a ratchet style. This reminds you of, you know, Happy New Year's and everyone's blowing horns and making that sound. Um, this is from the US Metal Toy uh, Manufacturing Company and made in USA. But what's interesting about this is since I have been picking these up whenever I can find it, there's slight alterations between. So as you can see, it looks the same here, but if you flip them around, the plastic is actually a different color. And one person may be like, oh, it's the same thing. And if you're a collector, sometimes you like to collect things that have different variations. So for instance, the black and the green, or I guess light blue, or you can have yellow and this part is white, which is different from that. So normally as a collector myself, I don't like to collect two of anything unless it's something that's my favorite. I really like to have one of everything. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to hang on to these until I collect a few more noisemakers and then I'll probably pick my favorite and let the other two go. Speaking of ratchet style, there was a lady on eBay that I've been watching over the past two months that had a specific kind of noisemaker in every style. So she had the bells, the ratchets, the, the, I don't know if there was a tambourine, but she had all of the different kinds, the rattle, and I really liked the pattern on it. And the first time it went, oh my gosh, they went for astronomical prices. And then she listed a whole nother set of them. And then those ones prices were a little bit better, but then, she listed one more round and said, these are my last ones. And that's when I got one. I was the only one who bid on this one, which was really surprising, but I was so excited because it has such fun graphics on it. This one covers all the bases too. It's got the pumpkin, the ghost, the bat, the witch, the moon. It's even got a little peanut. <laughs> oh my goodness. But this is a ratchet style again. Oh man, that sound is so much fun. But yeah, I could not pass up the graphics on that. And I got it for $20 or less, so it was a good deal. Something I haven't shown you guys yet are rattles. There are a couple different style of rattles and these are cool because these all have wooden handles. And this one is a little bit worn, but I think the witch graphic on it is still pretty nice. And this one is just, a piece of metal inside there. So it's just a folded piece of metal. This one, while not technically Halloween because it has graphics on it, it actually is just orange, black, and green. So it blends in really well with the other Halloween. But this one has a wood ball inside of it. And as you can see, the wood handle right there. This one's kind of seen better days. It's pretty wonky, but I only got it for $6 on eBay. So. <laughs> I'm not complaining and I saved it. So this could have gone in the trash, but instead it's going in my collection. This is probably one of my nicest ones. The graphics on this one are so nice and well-preserved. Now I'm guessing because the handle is made of plastic, it's a little bit newer than some of those wood handle rattles. And that almost seems like it's a bell or something in there. And not all of them are around like that. We have a cylinder right here. And although I found this one, I'm a little disappointed because of the placement of the handle. Normally you see them, they're placed on the bottom right here where the seam is. So it kind of cuts off the graphic of the, the hat, but I don't think they were really, you know, worried about that at the time. I think they were just manufacturing them like go for it. But yeah, if I come across one where the handle is here, I'll probably turn around and let this one go. This one has a lot in it. Almost sounds like little metal rings inside there. So that's it for rattles. You guys, check out these horns. 
This one is old school. It has a little plastic piece right there. And then if you blow it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get my lipstick on there and take that off. But um, yeah, it's this is so cool. I just love, this is, this is so, like I said, it's so old school. And I love the graphics on this one so much. This has got to be from the early 20s or 30s for sure. And you have to be very careful with the plastic. It's so brittle. I have another New Year's one where it, it chipped and broke already. And so I was like, oh man. But a newer horn is this one. <laughs> and this was made in Hong Kong. I'm not really sure the manufacturer on it, but it's just plastic and then kind of like a, a soft plastic top. But I actually found that at an estate sale in a box with, where are you, where are you? Which one did I find? Was it this one? No, it was this one with this one. And I dug in that box to see if there were more noisemakers, but there wasn't. But this was still cool to find. I kind of lied to you guys. There is another noisemaker rattle, but this one is different in a category all its own. If you guys know the Bayshore brand, I found this witch rattle at a yard sale two or three years ago. I could not believe it because I never come across like truly vintage Halloween stuff very often. And at a yard sale, whenever I do, it's like once a year, maybe twice a year. But this was just in a box full of other Halloween decorations. And when I pulled it out, I knew what I had. The lady was like, oh yeah, that was my mother-in-law's stuff. You know, take whatever you want in that box. So <laughs> I definitely took this one, but this, this is awesome because these go for quite a bit of money online. And just the fact that I got it at a yard sale and it's in really good condition still. And it's just a blow mold witch head and it's got a wood handle and it's just stapled on the back. Got a couple more things to show you if you guys are hanging in there. I hope this is fun for you guys. If you guys have vintage noisemakers, I would love to see your collections. If you guys are on Instagram, hit me up. I'm at Picker Treats on Instagram. I would love to see some of your noisemaker collections or any of your collections for that matter. So if you guys have been posting pictures of your collections, please tag me in some of those pictures. I would love to see what you guys have and how you display it too, because that's always something. I'm always like trying to reinvent the way I do something. And this year I'm kind of slacking because, you know, Halloween is next weekend <laughs> and I'm still decorating. Oh my goodness. This is fun. This is like a metal paddle and it's got these two little balls attached to those metal wires, I guess. And this is a Kirchhoff um, noisemaker. That's another company that made them, but <laughs> the graphics on this one are really good too. And the Kirchhoff company made a ton of vintage Halloween noisemakers as well. There's also this one that's kind of like a pan style. And that one's a lot louder. <laughs> but that's got a really fun witch graphic on there. Let's see. Oh my gosh, and look at that cat down there. There's so much detail on these. I think each one of these, these were printed, right? These weren't hand painted, yeah. Still very cool. And I've got these kind too. So like a circle ratchet. And that's a black cat. This was one of the first ones that I picked up off of eBay. It does have some rust on the inside. I can see from the sunshine. Um, but yeah, we'll keep this indoors now. But the graphic on that is really cool. I love the like scaredy black cat. Check out that witch. Now, I don't know where this one came from. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. This is from the yard sale. Did I tell you guys about that yet? I don't know if I did. Anyway, I was <laughs> I was going to some neighborhood garage sales and then this one was kind of off to the side and I almost didn't go. And I was like, yeah, well, since I'm over on the side of town. So I pulled over 
And I noticed that it was a townhouse and or a condo and it just was a garage sale and the garage. And so I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna get out. Parking's kind of hard in this. And I was like, you're here, Gina, go. And I'm so glad I did because she had a whole box of vintage noisemakers. And this was one of them. And I'm looking at it and it looks like, it looks like I need to clean that, but $18 on the back. She said she was a collector and she actually has two more boxes of Halloween stuff that she's gonna have me come and look through. So I'm looking forward to that because she said she has vintage costumes. She has more noisemakers. Even sounds like she's got some paper mache pumpkins. So I'm super stoked about that, but I have to wait until the beginning of the year. <sighs> but we'll wait. We have enough other stuff going on in the meantime, right? <laughs> But in that lot, I finally got my hands on something that I've been watching on eBay forever and ever, and that is a Halloween themed tambourine. I don't know why, but all of the tambourines are so cool. I just love them so much. And this is one that I picked up in that lot. Now, Tambourines are a little bit different from the other noisemakers. I would say if you can find a tambourine for under $30, you've got yourself a good deal. Um, and if you can find it out in the wild at a yard sale, <laughs> even better. But I love this one because it reminds me of an old school Halloween party. I just think about everyone dressing up and the black and orange crepe paper everywhere and the balls. Uh, bobbing for apples, caramel apples, hot apple cider, a lot of apple stuff going on there. But <laughs> I love all the homemade costumes and who doesn't like to shake a tambourine? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed getting to see a little sneak peek of my vintage Halloween noisemaker collection. I have so much fun showing you guys a piece of what I collect and why I collect it and where I got it from. This brings my heart so much joy. I hope you guys are having a wonderful October and we will see you next time.